Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Visit of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia to Marta Gerta and Karvajar. 475 displaced citizens return to Stepana Gert. Armenian President Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi discuss issues of deepening cooperation. 20 planes of Russian peacekeepers landed in Yerevan. Artsakh is Armenian. Armenians demonstrate in front of the Turkish consulate in New York. The undiscovered millennial Caves of Sebastia. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armen Akabramian, visited northern positions of Artsakh, Karvajar, Marta Gert, met with the Russian peacekeepers and talked to them. In a conversation with the President, the Armenian soldiers assured that they would not leave their positions. They are ready to fulfill their duties to the end defending their native borders. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armen Akabramian, came to the conviction that the soldiers are in full control of the border entrusted to them. They are well aware of the responsibility placed based on them. Another 475 displaced citizens have returned to Stepanakert accompanied by Russian peacekeepers, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. These people have returned to the Artsakh capital in a convoy consisting of 19 buses. The convoy went on a Yerevan Stepanakert route. It was accompanied by Russian peacekeepers and military police patrols. The Russian military ensured the safe traffic of buses on the line of contact. President of the Republic of Armenia, Armen Sarkisyan, paid a short working visit to the United Arab Emirates. As informed from the press service of the President's office, Armen Sarkisyan met with the Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan welcomed the visit of the Armenian President to the United Arab Emirates, conveying the greetings of President Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who is progress and prosperity to the Armenian and Armenian people. The Crown Prince of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi welcomed the ceasefire between Armenia and Azerbaijan, hoping that it will foster regional security and stability. President Sarkisyan welcomed Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan for the words of support and readiness, and practical steps to continue the deepening of relations on all levels. During the meeting, the sides discussed issues of deepening friendship and mutually beneficial cooperation between the two people and countries. The sides also exchanged views on international and regional issues. Russian Air Force planes 18 IL-76-2A and 124 Ruslan landed in Yerevan. The planes transported the soldiers of the 15th Peacekeeping Brigade as well as equipment as part of the peacekeeping operation in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone. This was reported on the website of the Russian Defense Ministry. 58 units of armored vehicles, trucks, excavators and other logistics were transported to Armenia by the Russian Air Force. Armenians protested in front of the Turkish consulate in New York. As reported by Armen Press, together people waved the flags of Armenia and Artsakh, shouted Artsakh is Armenia, Turks are deniers, shame on Turkey, shame on Erdogan, Shushi is Armenian, Turkey is financing the genocide, no more genocides, recognize Artsakh. Representatives of the Armenian community held up posters reading peace for Artsakh, Armenians demand justice and other calls in support of Artsakh. The petroglyphs of the caves in Kyrin, Sebastia, Western Armenia are awaiting discovery. The village of Magara, 49 kilometers from the province of Kyrin, attracts attention with these petroglyphs. It is believed that Christians who fled the oppression of Roman rule in the early years of Christianity took refuge in these caves and the 1,700-year-old petroglyphs in the cave shed light on the history of religions. After 1992, this place was declared a protected area. UNESCO was established on November 16, 1945 in London by the governments of 37 countries and was the official successor of the Forgotten Institute of Intellectual International Cooperation established in 1925. The purpose of establishing this specialized UN body was to promote peace and security by enhancing cooperation in the fields of education, science and culture for the benefit of justice, the rule of law and human rights, as well as universal respect of fundamental freedoms of all people without discrimination on the basis of race, sex, language or religion. UNESCO currently has 193 member states, 2 observer states and 11 associate members. During these days more than ever, UNESCO's response to the preservation of Armenian historical monuments in Artsakh is important, as the Azerbaijani Turkish terrorist group has always been distinguished by its brutal treatment of historical and cultural monuments. Now let us represent your attention a song Mokats Mirza.
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.